Picture a shield that works like a digital umbrella. It has layers, and each layer catches a different kind of missile. This isn't science fiction. This is real. This is how Israel defends itself from rockets, drones, and missiles every single day. It's a system born from necessity, tested in real war, and it has changed how nations think about protecting their people. From the short-range rockets fired from nearby to the long-range ballistic missiles that come from thousands of kilometers away, this network has to stop them all. And today, we are going to break it down, layer by layer, so you can understand exactly how it works. We'll look at the famous Iron Dome, the powerful David Sling, the Space Age Aero Systems, and the new laser technology that sounds like it's from the future. We will see how they all talk to each other, making one of the most complex defense systems on the planet seem simple in its goal, to protect lives. So, let's not waste any time and dive right in. First, you need to understand the big idea. Israel's defense isn't just one weapon. Think of it as a team of superheroes, where each hero has a special job. If one misses the bad guy, the next one is ready to catch him. The whole strategy is simple. Stop threats as early as you can, as far away as you can, and as cheaply as you can. Why? Because if a rocket is going to land in an empty field, you don't need to waste a million dollar missile on it. You save your money for the rockets heading toward a city. This is where the layers come in. The bottom layer handles the short-range stuff, the rockets and mortars that are in the air for only a few minutes. The middle layer takes on bigger missiles that fly farther and higher. And the top layer, the most advanced one, deals with the biggest threats, ballistic missiles that fly high into space before coming back down at incredible speeds. Imagine a soccer team. You have defenders close to the goal, midfielders in the middle, and strikers way up the field trying to stop the play before it even gets close. Israel's missile defense works the same way. It's a team effort across the entire field. But what makes this system so smart is how these layers communicate. They don't work alone. They're connected by a digital brain. Radars, satellites, and computers all talk to each other in milliseconds. If one layer sees the threat it can't handle, it instantly passes the information to the next layer. It's a seamless, connected web of protection. This means that even if dozens or even hundreds of missiles are fired at once, the system can look at each one, decide if it's a real danger, and assign the right defender to stop it. This isn't just about power. It's about brains. It's about efficiency. Now let's meet the first and most famous member of the team, the Iron Dome. If you've seen videos of missiles hitting other missiles in the sky over Israel, you've seen the Iron Dome in action. It is the bottom layer of the defense, and it is incredibly busy. It specializes in stopping short-range rockets and artillery shells. These are the kinds of threats that come from very close by, sometimes just a few kilometers away. The Iron Dome is brilliant, but its brilliance isn't just in its missiles, it's in its brain. The system doesn't just shoot at every single rocket that comes flying in. That would be expensive and wasteful. Instead, its radar watches the incoming rocket, and in a split second, calculates where it's going to land. The computer makes a decision. If the rocket is going to hit an empty field or the sea, the Iron Dome will let it go. It saves its ammunition. But if the rocket is heading for a city, a school, or a power plant, that's when it swings into action. It fires a missile called the Tamer Interceptor to destroy the threat in the sky. This is a game changer. It means that during a massive attack, the Iron Dome doesn't get overwhelmed. It stays focused on the rockets that actually matter, the ones that can kill people. Each Iron Dome battery is like a little fortress with its own radar, its own control truck, and several launchers full of missiles. They're placed around cities and critical sites to create a protective bubble. Over the years, the Iron Dome has stopped thousands of rockets. Its success rate is incredibly high, over 90%. It has become a symbol of defense for Israel, the guardian of the streets. 
It's a system that allows life to continue, even when under fire. But what happens when the threat is too big for the Iron Dome? What if the rocket is larger, faster, and can fly farther? That's when the first layer hands the problem off to the second layer. This is where we meet David Sling. David Sling is the middle layer. Its job is to fill the gap between the Iron Dome and the even higher level Aero systems. It's designed to stop threats that are too much for the Iron Dome to handle. We're talking about heavy rockets, cruise missiles that fly like airplanes, and short-range ballistic missiles that fly from thousands of kilometers away. The name is perfect. Just like the biblical David used a sling to take down the giant Goliath, this system takes on the bigger giants in the missile world. How does it work? David's sling uses a missile called the Stunner. This interceptor is built for precision. It doesn't just explode near the target like the Iron Dome's missile sometimes does. Instead, it is designed to hit the enemy missile directly. It smashes into it at a tremendous speed. This hit-to-kill technology is like hitting a bullet with another bullet. It completely destroys the threat. This is much more effective against advanced missiles that might try to dodge or deceive other defenses. The Stunner missile has multiple sensors to help it find its target, making it very accurate. Just like the Iron Dome, David's sling is smart. Its radars look at all the incoming threats and decide which ones are the most dangerous. Then it assigns its interceptors to take them down. It can track many targets at the same time, which is vital during a complex attack. This extends Israel's defensive reach significantly. It can engage threats from about 40 kilometers away all the way out to 300 kilometers. This means it can stop dangers much earlier, before they even get close to Israel's important airspace. It's the midfield defender, stopping the play before it can become a real crisis. But the threats don't stop there. Some missiles are designed to fly high, very high, into the edge of space and then crashing down with immense power. To stop these, you need a defender that can operate in the heavens. You need the Aero system. This is the top layer of Israel's defense, and it has two main parts, Aero 2 and Aero 3. Let's start with Aero 2. This system is designed to intercept ballistic missiles in the upper atmosphere. This is the part of the sky that is very, very high up. These enemy missiles are often launched from thousands of kilometers away. They fly up out of the atmosphere, travel through space in a high arc, and then crump screaming back down toward their target at speeds many times the speed of sound. The Aero 2's mission is to catch these missiles as they're coming back down. It's like a goalkeeper leaping to stop a ball that's rocketing toward the top corner of the net. To do this, the Aero 2 needs incredible power. It uses huge radars, like the Green Pine radar, that can see tiny objects from very far away. When it detects a launch, it tracks the missile's path. Then it launches its own interceptor missile. This interceptor is incredibly fast. It races into the sky and explodes near the enemy missile, destroying it high above the Earth, long before it can cause any harm. This is a crucial job, because ballistic missiles can carry very large and destructive warheads. The Aero 2 is the high-altitude guardian, taking on the most powerful conventional threats. But Israel didn't stop there. They built something even more advanced. The Aero 3. If the Aero 2 is the goalkeeper, the Aero 3 is the defender who runs halfway down the field to steal the ball before the other team can even take a shot. The Aero 3 is Israel's ultimate long-range defense. It operates in outer space. Unlike the Aero 2, which hits missiles as they're falling down, the Aero 3 destroys them in space before they even start their descent. This is a huge advantage. It means the interception happens much farther from Israel, giving more time to react. It also means that if the enemy missile is carrying a chemical or nuclear warhead, the dangerous debris is left in space, not falling over Israel. The Aero 3 is a pure hit-to-kill weapon. It doesn't have an explosive warhead. Its interceptor missile flies at hypersonic speeds, leaves the Earth's atmosphere, and literally collides with the enemy missile. It smashes it into pieces with the force of the impact. 
This technology is at the cutting edge of military science. Only a few countries in the world have this ability. With the Arrow 3, Israel can neutralize the most dangerous threats long before they get close, forming the ultimate protective barrier. It is the nation's shield in the void of space. Now, let's talk about the future. What if you could stop a rocket for the price of a cup of coffee? This is the promise of Iron Beam. Iron Beam is Israel's new laser-based defense system. It is a complete game changer. While the other systems we've talked about use missiles that cost tens of thousands or even millions of dollars each, Iron Beam fires a laser, and a single laser shot costs just a few dollars. Think about that. It uses electricity to generate a powerful laser beam that burns through, through it and falls apart. The laser doesn't run out of ammunition like a traditional weapon. As long as it has power, it can keep firing. This makes it perfect for stopping large numbers of cheap, short-range threats. Imagine a swarm of drones coming in. Instead of firing expensive missiles at each one, Iron Beam can zap them one after another quickly and cheaply. Iron Beam is not meant to replace the Iron Dome, they are partners. The idea is that Iron Beam will take care of the simple, close-range threats which saves the Iron Dome's expensive missiles for the more complex and dangerous targets that the laser can't handle. This partnership dramatically lowers the cost of defense and makes the entire system more resilient. This technology is being tested right now and it's very close to being ready for action. It represents the next step in defense. Silent, instant and incredibly efficient. Of course, none of these layers would work without the secret ingredient that ties them all together, the digital brain. This is the command and control system. It's the network of radars, satellites, computers and communication links that makes everything possible. These radars are constantly scanning the sky in every direction. They watch for any sign of a launch from a small drone to a massive ballistic missile. The moment a radar detects something, the information is sent to a central command bunker. There, powerful artificial intelligence software takes over. In the blink of an eye, this AI analyzes the threat. It figures out what it is, where it came from, and most importantly, where it is going. The AI then makes a life or death decision. It decides which defensive layer is the best one to handle the threat. It assigns the target to a specific battery, maybe an Iron Dome unit in a nearby city, or a David Sling battery farther back, or an arrow system ready for a space interception. All of this happens automatically, in seconds. The layers are in constant communication. If one radar loses sight of the missile, another one picks up the track instantly. This digital nervous system is what makes Israel's defense so smart and so hard to beat. An enemy can't just overwhelm it with numbers because the system is designed to handle many threats at once, making smart choices about each one. This entire system, from the Iron Dome to the Arrow 3, has been tested in real combat, not just in exercises. It has been used to stop thousands of attacks. It has saved countless lives. It is not a perfect system, no defense ever is, but it has proven to be incredibly effective. Because of its success, countries all over the world are interested in this technology. The United States, India, Germany and others are working with Israel or building their own similar systems. The layered defense idea has become a model for modern national security. In the end, Israel's multi-layered missile shield shows us something important. It shows us that with smart technology, clever strategy and a focus on protecting people, it is possible to build a defense that is strong, adaptable and resilient. It is a digital fortress built layer by layer to stand guard in a dangerous world. If you found this look into Israel's defense systems interesting and you want to learn more about the technology that shapes our world, please support our channel, War Tech Zone. Give this video a like and subscribe for more deep dives. Your support helps us bring you more authentic and clear explanations. Thanks for watching.